Well, kia ora, football fans, and welcome to Patoni for final round action in the South Central National League for 2021. This is a match between Capital Football and Central Football, and what a great conclusion we have to the series with three of the four sides still in with a chance to win it, including Capital, who not only need to win this game here today, but might need to win it by a healthy margin to have any chance of securing the title. More on all of that in just a moment. It is a pleasure to be with you. My name is Glenn Lama, and conditions here for this round six fixture at Memorial Mark and Patoni today are, well, they're not too bad. There is a chance of a shower or two uh, in this game. But we do have cloudy conditions, and the big feature is going to be the strong northerly wind blowing at the moment. It says light on the screen, but no, the wind is strengthening here at Patoni and is going to be quite fierce for the game this afternoon. It's going to be challenging conditions for all of the players. All right, well, we might as well get straight into the team lineups now, and here is the capital side. Big changes as the season's gone on. Probably more interest of who's not there than who is. For example, Ellen Fibbs, Nina Kondo, Zoe Barrett, Kaylee Ward, rather, and Emma Main, who would all normally be playing in this game, are all missing due to injury in other regions. It gives chances to other players like Robertson, Catherwood, Watson, Wild, who normally might not be starting in this game. Kennedy Bryant, number five, is the team's third leader for the season, and the coach is Maya Vink. We're here with Maya, coach of Capital. You guys have an outside chance of winning the title today with a win. How have you guys been preparing for the for the game today? I mean, yeah, this season we've never really focused on winning per se. So today is all about trusting the process and taking one more step towards the performance journey that we've been on. Uh, we've been really pleased with our performances so far, so it's kind of just continuing on that. Uh, specifically with Central, we know they're going to play in a deep block, so we've been kind of figuring out how to unpick that and uh, create some chances. Yeah, it'd be nice to score a few goals today, and who knows what's, what's possible. So, uh, yeah, we'll go after it. We're going to try and get some goals today and, uh, and go from there, but today's the, the performance is the most important part. Awesome. All the best for today. Thanks very much. An example of just how strong that wind is getting up here at Tipitoni. Let's have a look at the central football side now. And uh, we can tell you that seven of the 11 starters are playing their sixth straight game. Trewitt, Smith, Crawford, Rankin, the captain, Falloon, Atkins, and Kleinsman. Hannah Buzan, number 16, gets her first start after being a sub in all the previous games. So it's a settled team, but can they get their first result today? The coach is Matthew Kelvett. We're here with Matthew, coach of Central. The girls will be looking to finish off the competition with a strong performance. How have you, how have you been preparing for Capital? Uh, yeah, we've not changed anything um, from this week that we've done uh, for our preparations for the last few weeks. Um, really focused, that, really important that we've, we've focused on um, what we do well as a group, stay true to our values of what we've done um, throughout the campaign this season. Um, whilst we have had you know, some challenging moments, we've also had some real positive moments. So we've really just been reinforcing those uh, with the group this week, uh, reminding them of what they do well as individuals and as a team. And we're very much looking to show that uh, this afternoon um, against Capital. All the best. Hope you guys do out right there. Thank you. Cheers. And Matthew Calvert's done a good job with this team. So there we are. There's the coaches. There's the lineups. And uh, we're set for a, an exciting clash, which is kicking off in just a couple of minutes. Thank you for joining us here on Sky Sport Next. Uh, both final matches or round six matches have been played at the same time, which is an interesting call by New Zealand football. So the Southern Canterbury match is going to be kicking off in a couple of minutes as well. So we will keep you in touch with that game there's any scoring as we go through our game here at Patoni. So it's going to be really interesting to see. We can tell you the points table heading into this uh, final round. Well, Southern United, all they need to do is draw against Canterbury or win. They can win that game. They will win the title. But if Canterbury United win that game, they'll go equal on points with Southern. Both will have 12. But Canterbury will leapfrog Southern because they have a better goal differential. At the moment, Canterbury United is plus eight, Southern is plus three. That could change depending on what happens down in Christchurch today. At, if Canterbury do win, then Capital must win this game. As I've touched on earlier, Capital must win this game and then beat the goal differential that Canterbury United will have over them. It could be four, maybe five. It just depends what the margin of victory will be like in Christchurch.
So Capital basically not only need to win as I touched on, they need to win by at least four or possibly even five goals here today. So we will keep you in touch with that, um, that game down in Christchurch, but certainly a really exciting conclusion to what's been a thoroughly absorbing and interesting South Central National League for 2021. Here are our officials today. Anna-Marie Keeley, one of our most experienced women's referees, has been to numerous tournaments overseas. Sarah Jones and Connor Healy are the assistants with Harrison Cook, the fourth official. So, yeah, it's been a real shame that we've not had the Auckland teams, the Waikato team, playing in this competition this year. But it certainly hasn't lacked for competitiveness. Even Central, who have not managed to get a, get a result so far, they've lost all five of their games, have at times been very competitive in their games. So fingers crossed they can get on the board today from their perspective. They've scored just the two goals in the campaign and would be loving to get more. This team here, the Capital Football side, well, they opened the campaign six weeks ago, beating Central by 2 to nil in Palmerston North, and have had two wins and two losses since that result. But Capital Football coming into this game, as I touched on, Emma Main out today. She's been great all the way through. No Kaylee Ward today. She was unavailable. She's their top goal scorer in this competition with four, or with five goals, rather. And... Uh, They've had nasty injuries over the last few weeks to Nina Kondo, dislocating her shoulder. Ellen Fibbs blew an ACL two weeks ago during a game. Zoe Barrett and also Kaylin Patterson clashed heads in a training incident. they heavily concussed and they are unavailable as well. So massive changes, but they still have quality there with Anna Green, number three, the veteran football ferns player, Kennedy Bryant, Olivia Ingham, Helena Errington is back in the side today. Pepe Oliver Bell has been very effective up front. So still some quality in their side. And they will still go into this game as favourites to win it. And we are underway in this round six. South Central National League match for 2021. It is Central football in the green, and they're playing into this heavy, strong northerly wind here at the Tone in this game. And we will keep an eye on how Capital Football, remember they've got to win this game and maybe win it by at least four or five goals to have any chance of winning the title. And even then, it may not be enough depending on the result in Christchurch. Now, Canterbury get that win down in Christchurch against Southern. The big wins they've had over Central, two 5-0 wins, will have a huge, ultimately have a huge bearing on the outcome of the championship. So Capital Football swinging forward. We we'll expect to see them play very positively in this game. They need goals. Most they've scored it in a game this season. Capital is three. They've done it twice. Once against Canterbury and once against Southern. So all their sharpshooters up front today are going to have to be on song. Players like Oliver Bell, Ingham. They're going to have to really rip in those scores today. So Capital Football will keep the pressure on here. Yeah, it's going to be Gemma Catherwood, the 18-year-old Wellington United player. Throw that one in. Feels for a handball there from Lara Smith go unanswered. And now Capital come into the area. Here's a chance early. Oliver Bell. Here's a chance. It's almost squeezed in on that far post there by Errington, but she couldn't get power on it. And young Sophie Campbell, just 14 years of age, simple stop for her. There's a good early chance there for Capital Football. Now, Central struggling to clear it. Nice work by Crawford to block that one for Central. Might have caught the nasty one with the ball there, but she's still okay as Kleinsman controls it now. And that one's come off for Loon. And it's going to be... Capital possession, Anna Green. She will be a huge and key figure today. Interesting to see how she plays. She's been playing 
in the central defending position in earlier matches. I think she might be playing a bit further up the pitch in this game. Two football ferns players out there today. One on either side. Anna Green and Sarah Morton is back out there in the defensive line for central football as well. They're looking forward to seeing those two players. Here's a good pass and it's coming to the near post. It's still in the field of play. Now Kleinsman can clear it. Falloon couldn't quite get the soft feet and she's lost it and there's another early chance and Campbell looks at that one and happy to see it go over a bet. So interesting start to this game with Capital using the win to good effect. Sarah Morton, again at left back. Oh, it's been lost. And Oliver Bell's got it. Oh, Campbell almost got through. She did well in the near post there to stop that cross. But there are already opportunities looming here for Capital in these first three minutes. They've had two or three good cha half chances so far in the game. These goals start to mount up. It's going to become quite interesting. Capital dominating it again. Uh, it wasn't quite able to be controlled there by Bryant, but Capital looking for something on the edge of the area. Not to be. Kleinsman does a good job. She's playing a bit deeper in the pitch at the moment. Very good active player, the right winger. From Central, plays out of New Plymouth. Oh, gee whiz, that's a nasty one there for Smith or maybe Crawford. It's still there. And there's the first goal. It is a goal and it is scored. And there's a player injured. But the goal is going to go in. And an early opportunity has gone in from Capital. She's trying to see who picked up the goal. Looks like it's gone to Oliver Bell, number 12. Peppy Oliver Bell. Now there's the aftermath of it, but it was a lovely strike. And Peppy Oliver Bell has got the score, number 12. Just 17 years of age, and there's some concern here. I think that's Crawford down there who caught that ball right in the face. And Central won't be pleased to lose her early. She's been a real stalwart in the heart of the defence. Devon Crawford, originally from Palmerston North, but actually plays for Petone on this ground in the Wellington competition. And she's been a regular starter for Central all the way through this competition. But the early goal has gone in from Pepe Oliver Bell. It was beautifully struck too, wasn't it? And yes, it is Devon Crawford. He's just going through the procedures now. Uh, hopefully she won't lose. So the physio just still going through these last few tests with Devon Crawford, who seems to be OK. Good to see Sarah Morton there supporting her teammate. Crawford's going to get some more treatment on the sideline. So Pepe Oliver Bell, that goal. She also scored against Central in her first in the first game of the season. And Pippi Oliver Bell from Wellington Diamond United. 15 games for her club team this season and has scored nine goals for them and now two more here for Capital in this series. 
So she's having a good year, 17 years of age. She's kept her eye on her too. She might be a contender for New Zealand underage selection in the next couple of years. She looks, uh, plays with plenty of enthusiasm. There she is there at the bottom of the screen. She's fit. She's in good condition. And she gives it all. So after this long delay, Central will finally get the chance to kick off. Capital needed that early goal. Remember, with the, the their quest of not only winning this game but scoring lots of goals to get that goal differential right up to have any chance of winning the title. Remember that Canterbury Southern game is on now and played at exactly the same time. As far as I'm aware, there's been no score yet in that game. Central kickoff. To restart this game here. Canterbury are up 1-0. I've just been told, in fact. Canterbury have got an early goal there against the Southern. So, early goals. And bo in both games. So, Canterbury leading Southern 1-0. And Capital leading Central 1-0 now. And let's see if they can build on this lead. There's a great pass. That might be Ingham chasing that one through. It is Olivia Ingham. Couldn't quite link up there with Robertson, but it's still in the area. Morton needs to clear it effectively. This is Bryant, the captain for the day. A lovely pass. Oh, Ingham might have looked like she was just held back there a touch. She wasn't. So Sophie Campbell, the 14-year-old keeper, has got her ball, got her hands on the ball. And now Sarah Morton, double teamed already in this capital team are very keen to get possession they are pressing high and putting a lot of pressure on the player in possession for central Morton with the throw in for central another chance at it. It's Buzan, but she's lost the ball. Bryant, good work from her. She's the third captain. Alan Phibbs, the original captain. She's playing beautifully too, until she busted her ACL. Won't be playing for, I reckon, 12 months now. And she, she did that on this ground back in round three against Southern, maybe round four. And the uh, Kaylee Ward took over the captaincy, but she's not available for this game today. So Kennedy Bryant gets the captain's armband today for Capital. It's good work by Rebecca Truitt for Central, and she tries to find Falloon. Again, Central's stay in possession was brief. Now Capital to go direct up the middle. Oh, this one's fallen nicely here. This is Gibbs. Gibbs. Oh, it's off the crossbar. There's still a chance for Bell. And it's gone, and it's another goal. Pippi Oliver Bell gets her second goal. Excellent work from Olivia Gibbs, who gets her second start in this game. And here she is here. What a shot this was. Almost over Campbell. And wonderful following up. That's what good strikers do. They keep sniffing around that six-yard box. And Pippi Oliver Bell doubles Capitals' lead. It is two to nil. Only had eight and a half minutes to Oliver Bell hunting goals. Remember that capital team, if you just joined the broadcast, are playing with a very strong northerly behind them. back in possession now for Central. 
Kenner it was looking for that touch. Kenner now in number 19, actually playing her first game today. The first start, rather, for this year's number 19 for Central. And referee Keeley has given Capital this free kick. So Anna Green not mucking around. Forward she comes. She takes all the corners, all the free kicks. And she will want to put this on a 10 cent piece. As Wellington and the Capital side rather push all their players forward here. As Green takes it now. And she just hooked it too high. You can see the win really taking it. Going to challenge Sophie Campbell in goal today. He's taken over from Brooke Bennett. The last couple of games. All the way back it goes to Wild. Rosie Wild, the 23-year-old. She's filling in for Zoe Barrett in that defensive position. There's a good quick ball, lovely release there, and Catherwood's chasing this one through for Capital. Gemma Catherwood. Over Ringham's head. And Holly Kleinsman. Two good young players there, Kleinsman and Olivia Ingham. Both 16-year-olds out on that wing. Their sides today, and both very talented. Again, going to be players to watch as we see New Zealand under-17 selection emerge again next year. Fingers crossed that COVID will allow World Cups at under-age level to go ahead. And the players of this age group here don't get robbed of the opportunity to go to these wonderful tournaments. Gibbs, who almost created that goal. Now, she might have overcooked that ball, and she has. So, goals to Pippi Oliver-Bell. Already 2-0. Reminding you, at this stage, it's still 1-0 in Christchurch between Canterbury and Southern. Canterbury leading Southern 1-0. Southern, to win the title, all they need is a draw. But if they lose that game, then... Canterbury and Capital could or more likely pinch the title off them. Well, in fact, if that happens, if uh, Canterbury win that game, no matter the the score, there's no way Southern will win that win the title. They'll miss out on goal difference either to Capital or to Canterbury. And we'll keep an eye on that result. Catherwood. Watts. Well done. Good strikers. Well done. Well done, Abby. So Watson Wild, and you see Green's more playing in the left half position in this game. Here's Oliver Bell again. Oh, it's solid defending, courageous defending from Sarah Morton. Could have opened up there for Capital as Errington feeds Green and Green. Hoist it in front of the goal again, and Oliver Bell was just half a step or two behind. Yeah, she was sneaking around up front there. She might have got a hat-trick inside the first 13 minutes of play. And again, Central under pressure. They've not been in the half, basically, at all in this game as they play into the strong wind. Molly Simons, the keeper for Capital, is going to be unemployed pretty much through this first half. Watts, almost losing it there. Jaden Watts, enlarged. It's her third start in a row after the injury to Alan Phibbs. More likely Zoe Barrett, in fact. And he's taken over that central position, the defending position has Watts. Here's Watts again. Catherwood. Some nice one-touch football. Errington delicately plays that ball, but Morton will shadow that one through. Over the byline.
Campbell. Again, putting her defenders under pressure, and this high pressing off the ball play from Capital is really working beautifully at the moment. Sarah Morton. Football Ferns player debuted in 2018. Well, there's been another goal in in Canterbury and Southern have drawn level. Now, one all between them and Canterbury. A terrific goal, apparently. So, well done to Southern. They've locked that game up. Whitaker got the goal. And now we see Capital coming forward again. Ingham chasing that one through, but back in defence there was Lara Smith. And who's going to win the throw in there? There might have been a touch. Yes, there was from Smith right at the end. So Ingham to take the throw in quickly. Green. Green to take the throw in. Truitt. For Central. Well, it's been lost by Kleinsman. Green's got it. Here comes a chance for Capital. And was the last touch off a central player? It was, so it's going to be a corner. It's excellent work by Gemma Robertson. Number 11 for Capital, so a corner. The first of the game, and a green. 72 games for New Zealand. 2006 is when she debuted. Hugely experienced, multiple Olympian and World Cup representative. Got this deadly left foot, but she hasn't got that one as she would have liked, and it's been cleared away. So one all at the moment in, at uh, Canterbury. So if the draw, if there's no more goals in that game, Southern will win the title. So you can see it's constantly shifting at the moment, which is really cool for fans. It's great following two games at the same time. Lingham, lovely touch. Here comes a burst into the setter. Oh, that almost linked up beautifully. Some, oh, some very smart defending there from Smith. He's got the clearance for Central. Green has it now for Capital. And she's going to utilise Bryant. Kennedy Bryant. Maybe hoping for a deflection there. Oh, good work here. From Pepe Oliver Bell. Here's a chance for Errington. She can shoot from long range, you know, and well, she was just a bit too high that time. Helena Errington, the 16 year old. There are some very talented 16 year olds out there. Ingham, Errington, Robertson. She might be a bit older, in fact, but uh, Errington, Ingham, and uh, Kleinsman, we touched on them. It's great to see good young talent. Still sticking around all the way through to the end of the season. Through it with the throw in for Loon. I've not really seen players like Atkins, Rankin in the game at all yet. Hopefully they can get going and Buzan up front too. Now we're just seeing Atkins here trying to win the ball. And yet there is a foul. Good work from Amy Atkins. Scored a great goal last week, remember? Against Southern in their 3-1 loss. And Amy Atkins on the ball here. Chance for Central to move into the penalty area basically for the first time in the game. Atkins or didn't get the, the drive she was looking for there. So Molly Simons 
Well, has it been ruled? It's taken a deflection. Goodness me. So it's a corner. Well, well. Central keeping the pressure on here. Check out that corner flag. That wind is really starting to strengthen here. Good clearance too there. Forcing Central almost back to halfway. Rebecca Truitt from Palmerston North Maris to take the throw in. As I've touched on in previous broadcasts, most of the Central players from Palmerston North Maris. Now this is Falloon. Another one of those players. Good defending by Green. You'd expect that from her. And now Ingham can't quite link up with her teammates as they look to switch play onto the right flank. It's excellent defending right there. Now Oliver Bell's got it. Good work from Lara Smith. We'll be very familiar with most of these capital players. Lara Smith plays for Wellington United, which won that... Uh, Central Women's League this year, the Capital League. Yes, Lara Smith originally from this part of the country, so she can play for Central rather than Capital. Nice pass from Errington. Couldn't quite uh, get the return ball from Bryant though, and now Buzan for Central. Good ball from here. Here's a chance up the centre. That flag stays down, and Falloon just couldn't quite control it. But what a wonderful through ball through to Jesse Falloon. Pepe Oliver Bell's flipped this one on, and check out the pace here. Nice turn from Robertson. All good save. Terrific stop from Sophie Campbell. Remember, she's just 14. And... She was down to stop that at the near post. Excellent work from her. Robertson with the pace. And lovely turn there to create the opportunity. And Campbell, though, at the near post. Well done. So, Capital keep the pressure on here. As they hunt this third goal. Oh, Campbell just got a hand to it. Is that going to be a throw-in or a corner? It's going to be actually be a throw-in to Central. It's assistant Sarah Jones on this near touchline. Morton with the throw-in. Here's Robertson again. Oliver Bell. Nice skills from here. Gibbs playing on her home ground plays for Fatoni in the W League and uh, Fatoni she was a key player actually in the Fatoni team winning the under 19 club title national title last month as well Could be another good young player coming through the system here yeah, she got just got a head to it there Watts for Loon. Bit untidy in midfield there, but almost picked up. In fact, it has been picked up by Bryant. And Green just drops back a little bit and nice pass into Robertson. Good work by Smith. Now Hannah Buzan. Morton. Central just settling down now and enjoying some spells of possession. Catherwood. It's Watts. Wild. Catherwood just holding the ball just for a little bit now is but more patiently this time is Kennedy Bryant. Just as I say that, she looks to unload the big pass down to Anna Green, who'd made a run from left back. That's Atkins. Rather Rankin with that pass. Couldn't quite link up. And now Robertson tries to find Oliver Bell again.
The pass is for Loon. But nice from Central. Good to see them attacking. Not worrying about the scoreline at the moment. They're looking to continue to play positive football. Their, uh, their attitude has not been in question, really at all, right the way through this tournament. They've just been outclassed in several of their games. Very young team too. Remember the average age of that central team, only around 17, 18. A very young team. Playing against some pretty seasoned National League players and other sides. Well done, stay on it. Catherwood. This is Gibbs. Well, Central again, maybe just defending better now. It's certainly settled down this game. So we reach the 25 minute mark, about 20 minutes to play. Capital leading 2 0. Hope you're enjoying the game. This is a round six match in the South Central League as Robertson tries to find her teammate. Couldn't get picked up those Bryant hustles to win the ball back here for Capital. Good enthusiasm by the captain. Both goals being scored by Pepe Oliver Bell, number 12 for Capital. And keeping you updates with that other game in Christchurch as well, which is continuing. And uh, Southern and Canterbury, there's been a third goal in that game now. 21 minutes played in that game. And Southern are now leading 2-1. They were trailing 1-0, but have scored two uh, to take the lead in that game. Wonderful drama down in Christchurch. Now, here's Green coming forward for Capital. And a corner will be the result of that exchange. So 2-1 to one to Southern. Remember, all Southern need to do is draw or win that game down in Christchurch, and they win the title. The result of this game here will become immaterial. So Capital need a Canterbury win in that game. And then we'll need somehow to overhaul the goal difference that Canterbury will have over them, which could be at least four goals. So a third goal here for Capital could be critical. Campbell, almost in, still there, and now cleared. Near thing for Central. Bright's got it for Capital. Swung in by Watts, but she couldn't link up with her teammates. Oliver Bell's not going to get close to that one, and now Central can clear, and this is Sarah Morton. She's given the ball away there, so Capital can swing forward again. Bryant's going to leave it here for Gemma Catherwood. Gibbs with that touch. Bryant chasing it through here. Oh, that's going to fall for Ingham. Harrington. Green. Lovely ball to Olivia Ingham. In fact, that is Oliver Bell, but she's just lost the ball there. Good hustling by Central to win the ball back. Buzan has it. Capital back in possession. And it's going to be called down at the back by Molly Simons, the keeper. Gibbs. Good ball to Oliver Bell. She's on to that one. Oliver Bell's got good pace. Round her defender. She's round Crawford. Here's Oliver Bell. Delays the pass to Robertson. Good defending by Lara Smith, though, who got stuck in there. Won the ball back. Errington's got it back, though, for Capital. Catherwood and Watts are going to call it all the way back to Simons again. Lovely play, though, there from Gibbs to find that through ball to Oliver Bell. Some good work over there. Oh, there's a foul. Oh, it looks like, uh, just wonder whether a card might be shown by referee Keeley. And there's just a warning there for Lara Smith. Lara 
Smith, a 15-year-old. Just to re-emphasise the ages of some of these central players, Sophie Campbell's 14, Trewitt and Smith are 15, Kleinsman 16. Three, two, one. Here's the cross, it's gone in! Oh wow, what a goal! Absolutely breathtaking! And Anna Green has buried it in the corner. Check that out. That was special. Well, Anna Green's scored some important goals in her career, and she'll have enjoyed that one. That was awesome. Look how wide out she is. Anna Green gives Capital a 3-0 lead. After 30 minutes of play, the goals coming in this game. And not as many, though, as the game in Christchurch. Southern have scored again. They've gone 3-1 up. Wow. Well, who knows? At this stage, if we don't get any more goals in these two games, Southern are going to win the title, which will be a very good achievement for Southern football. They don't get too many titles in Otago and Southland and women's football in New Zealand. But could they be about to win one today? We will see. South the Southern do go on and win that. They'll go to 15 competition points. Canterbury will stay on nine. And Wellington, or rather the capital football team here, will move to 12 and finish in second place. But I have a feeling there's drama more drama coming and there could be some more drama coming here with Central starting to move in into a good position here. Rankin couldn't quite get the, right the uh, real well fire in that one that she was looking for. Burrington. Well Amy. Nicely controlled by Robertson. It's good play. Green once again. Good hustling over there by Holly Kleinsman. Interesting to see how those two will go through. Green and Kleinsman. Of course, Kleinsman basically a rookie. But still a talented one. Not much distance on that from Campbell. Morton's got that one covered. Gibbs just happy to allow her to play that out. Harrington over to Ingham. Ingham trying to get through Kleinsman. Harrington again. Green with the cross, near post. Gee whiz, that could have gone in again. But it is excellent work by Capital, and in fact, there were no touches on it, so it's a goal kick. Ray hustling again. Here's Errington. Errington, nice tackle coming in from Atkins. Very good, busy young player is Amy Atkins. Settles it down again for Capital. We've got just over 10 minutes to play in this first half. Trevor soldiering up into that strong northerly wind. It doesn't look pleasant out there, does it? At least it's not raining. 
It's what someone should be telling Rebecca. So uh, that first game we did here right at the start of the season. I think it was uh, Capitals' first game against Canterbury. It was bucketing down here. Yeah, it was very unpleasant. Uh, hopefully it won't be, won't be getting replica of that today. Doesn't look like we will. It's good to see some sun out, although that wind, strong wind continues. Lena Errington playing very well in that holding midfielder's position. That's Bryant. Trying to find Robertson and Oliver Bell up front. Now, this is a pretty decent effort from Capital here. Remember, they're seriously down on troops in this game. Here's Atkins. Plenty of space up midfield there. And Bryant. Times here, challenge effectively. And there's the backspin on the ball. The wind really affecting it once again here at Patone. Green with a quick throw in. Oliver Bell, can she keep it in? She can. It's not going to fall for Robertson. Last touch was from Smith, so it's a throw in again. And you can see Anna Green, the urgency that she plays with. Even though she's in her 30s, she's still got plenty to offer. Wild with that switch of play. Over to Catherwood. Robertson was the target of that pass, but Trell was there to salvage the situation. Now Ingham's picked up the loose ball. Green makes a run. Here's a chance, and it was a chance there for Anna Green, who was hunting her second. Oh, pressure here, pressure here. Morton under pressure. Oh, she's done pretty well there, Sarah Morton, hasn't she? Feeding it to her captain, Abby Rankin. Jesse Falloon lost it, though. Now, here's Ingham. Good play. Gibbs, in fact, it's Wild coming forward. Morton's going to clear it away. But again, things looking good there for Capital. As they hunt their fourth goal. At the moment, Southern have scored again. They lead 4-1. Unbelievable. Own goal this time by Canterbury United. So, wow, it's going to take a massive comeback now from Canterbury to have any chance. Remember, they have to win that game to have any chance of winning the title. Lovely ball from Green. Robertson. Gibbs. Well, they crowded the player in position there really well. Central gave him no options. Defending a bit better at the moment. Wild again. Cross to Catherwood. Here's Bryant. Lost it by Atkins. Good untidy, but it's gathered by Buzan. Catherwood drops back for Capital as we approach the last seven minutes of this first half. That lengthy injury to Devon Crawford. But during that, we did stop the clock, so we'll see how much out of time we have as Central go backwards again. Campbell really couldn't take any risks there and concedes the corner. So Capital will have the corner. I suspect Anna Green will come over and take this one. Yes, she is. Because the wind is going to really cool this one in. She's the left footer, remember, and she'll, she'll use the wind to her advantage here.
Well, she might need someone to hold that ball. That wind is fierce here. <laughs> now, usually you only see that on a rugby field. But if I was Anna Green, I'd take this quickly. Green kind of curl it in. It's a great corner, but again, no touches as Olivia Ingham was up there. Well, will Capital be able to keep this pressure on in the second half? They'll be playing into the wind. They've certainly been the better team in this game by far. Two goals to Pithy Oliver Bell. One to Anna Green. And Pithy Oliver Bell has three goals in this campaign now. And Anna Green, that was her first. Here's Errington in space. And now Ingham. She can score too. Ingham, it was just deflected off her as the space got shut down. So a corner conceded. Yeah, Ingham scored a beauty in round two against Canterbury. short that time she's actually going to leave it for Helena Errington fifth game this season missed game three Errington but back to start the last three she works a good corner in but again it's forced to be saved there by Buzan and now Capital will keep the pressure on that dearly love a fourth goal as before half time as Kennedy Bryant tries to keep things going at pace here for Capital and she's won the ball here again Kennedy Bryant oh good work by Campbell that needed her hands on it at the near post if it snuck through here that back post was wide open Watts for Capital by Catherwood. Again, Campbell under pressure. Gives with that throw in. Harrington playing wider on the right on this play. Catherwood. Try and swing it in. Yeah, dangerous pass. Or Ingham was the target. Ingham might still get it. Ingham. Here's Robertson. Oh, good defending there from Trewitt and from Smith. But it's still here for Pippi Oliver Bell. And she can't quite get that one on target. So good pressure again by these capital attacking players. Oliver Bell, Robertson, Ingham. Really keeping the pressure on Campbell here, who just 14 doesn't have that big goal kick in her repertoire to get her team out of trouble so you can see central continue to try and get out of trouble by a short passing game out the out of the back and really not easy for sophie campbell in this big gale force wind very strong wind atkins oh she's lost it and there's a foul by bryant just a couple of minutes out from half time now Gibbs with the uh, with the steal there for Capital. Errington. One minute of play left in the first half. Errington still has it. Green. Good work by Kleinsman again. But Green's won the throw in. One last attack perhaps for Capital before half time. Nicely defended by Crawford. It's still here for Capital. And that one finds the safe arms of Sophie Campbell.
Catherwood picks that one up. Now Oliver Bell. Maybe one last chance again here. As we see Bryant. Oh, that one's in the end. <laughs> again, for to Campbell, who looked very happy. Yeah, that was an easy catch for her. And that's going to do it for the first half. And it has been a very dominant half of football by Capital, who threw Pepe Oliver Bell, who got the first two goals, and Anna Green, the third, go to half time here with a very comfortable lead over Central by three goals to nil. We can tell you the half time score in Christchurch is 4 2. Six goals there in the first half. Southern leading Canterbury by 4 to 2. So still a lot of work there for Canterbury and Christchurch to come back and win that game. Keep alive their hopes of winning the title and Capitals hopes of winning the title as well. Remember, Southern draw or win that game, they win the series for this season. Oh, really? There we are. It's half time here at Patoni. We'll be back for the second half very shortly. It's Capital leading 3-0.
out and days are on their way Forever's how long they'll stay Proud and days are on their way Chasing sunsets in the sky Won't let these moments pass us by Take my hand, don't be afraid In the brighter days around their way
I'ma hit the gas, once I tap it, I'm gone Faster than the flash, when I get in this zone Higher than the plane, stay up out my lane Oh, I do it different and they really can't explain Let me elevate, let me elevate you 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 Smoke rising like a locomotive I'm on my go so you know the motive It's like they voting and I'm toe to polling Giving them info like I got the folder open On a Kawasaki with a Motorola I'm Samsung and on the open ocean On the metro chasing escrow You backsliding while I breaststroke Sidewinding, I'm high rising I'm so fly that I'm skydiving It's no problems, there's no hiding Got other things that I'm worried about Man, I'm gonna be gone free Trying to get into the mood though Hop into the whip, got my mind on my paper I wouldn't be mad if you wanna get it too, yo But I ain't got time so I gotta see you so later They think that I'm soulless like Tupac Pitch should me rolling yeah. I be music composing while trying to open this lotus I'm like a camera that's trying to capture my purpose is focused yeah. you out of options I'm like a doctor I'll double the dosage oh yeah I work with the medics I'm about to get you injected I got a couple connections so I can get you prosthetics hope you can't go where I'm headed what? that'll get you ejected what? on this level I get it I'm trying to double my credit yeah I'ma hit the gas once I tap it I'm gone faster than the flash when I get in this zone higher than the plane stay up out my lane oh I do it different and they really can't explain let me elevate let me elevate you 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 Elevate, elevate, that's how I feel when I meditate. I speak hymns when I educate, don't want stems in my Well, thanks very much for joining us again here at Patoni Memorial Park. We're all set for the second half of uh, this match. The sixth round action, the final round of action between all the four teams in the South Central National League for 2021. Capital in the gold, leading 3-0, but playing into a very strong win in the second half against Central. So all set for the second half. And we're underway, and it's the Capital team playing into the strong breeze. Going to be really interesting to see how they go in this second half. Remember, they need to score... More goals to have any chance of winning the title. And now Central have pinched the ball here. And straight away, we're going to see a corner to Central. And this is going to be a feature of the game. It's been a strong feature of the game already, with basically the game being played in this half of the field due to the strong breeze. So can Capital get through the wind and Central to keep putting the pressure on their opponents. Now, can tell you in Dunedin, it was 4-2 at half time. Southern were leading Canterbury. They've scored just after halftime from the penalty spot. So it's 5-2 now. Here's the corner. So Southern would have to concede four goals now in the second half to lose the title. So that, you'd have to say, is looking rather unlikely. But... Sport can do strange things at strange times. We will see what will continue to unfold. And we will continue to update you on that score in Dunedin. But at the moment, it's 5-2 to two to Southern. And they are looking great now to win the national, or not the, or win the Central South title for 2021. It's been a really good series, both men's and women's. And you can only hope that this time next year we will have all of the Upper North Island teams playing in the National League again. Central trying to move away. That was excellent work there from Jesse Falloon. He's given it to Atkins, now Rankin. Linesman making a run, but she can't quite catch up with that one. And don't forget, folks, if you uh, you love your, your football, we've got a really great men's final coming up tomorrow, remember, featuring the two Wellington teams, Wellington Olympic and Miramar Rangers. That should be a classic match 
And that is going to be worth keeping your eye on tomorrow. Green with this throw in for Capital. Green trying to hoist it back, but it's been taken here by Rankin. Good work from her. Here's Abby Rankin. Zan can't quite control it. Good defending coming in there. I think that was Rosie Wild. But it hasn't stayed in Capital's possession for too long. It's going to be a goal kick. And Molly Simons, for the first time in the match, I think is going to take a goal kick. Makes it short too. A little untidy there to Jaden Watts. Rosie Wild. Been in and around this capital team for a while now, sir. Fifth year. Green tries to link up there with Robertson, who's got the ball now. Gemma Robertson, good play from her. Oh, good ball to Walla for Bell. And excellent defending from Trewitt. And the corner is conceded. There's some lovely play there from Robertson in particular, having a strong game, wearing 11 for Capital. Some good footwork there, good hustling off the ball here. And then the weight on that pass was just perfect for Oliver Bell. And Rebecca Truitt could do nothing but concede the corner. So good work there by those two Capital players. First corner for them of the second half. Oh, it's still untidy for Central, and now Campbell's got it. She will enjoy having the wind at her back. That was a really tough first half for Sophie Campbell, the New Plymouth keeper. But the pressure's going to stay on here. Robertson. Couldn't quite link up with Catherwood. Campbell doesn't possess the biggest goal kick, but she's basically, the length of her goal kicks has already doubled in this second half. You see those trees in the background of that shot there. Look at that palm tree at the top left, really blowing. Here's a great run from Green. Can she get through here? And a Green, she's brought down. Referee's going to allow play to continue. Wow, 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 Anna, Anna Marie. Keeley, a hugely experienced referee. She's seen all the tricks on the football field before, and she wasn't buying that one. Bryant switching it over to the right this time. Watts under a touch of pressure here. Buzan showing good pace, but Simons. Take no risks, so Hannah Buzan here. Good pressure from her. Another Palmerston North Marist player. Five of them playing in the starting lineup today. Good steal from Gemma Robertson for Capital. Nice play. Here's a chance for Robertson who's moved forward here. Good play from her, Gemma. Robertson has a crack and Sophie Campbell covering the near post. So 3-0, the score remains. Six minutes played now in the second half. Still 5-2 in Dunedin to Southern who are on the cusp of winning their national title. Ingham, beautiful pass. And Oliver Bell almost snuck through. But she was in an offside position.
Wild. Raising Wild making a run from the back. We can win. Go on. Go on, you'll win, Holly, you'll win. Good girl. Go on, play forward, play forward, play forward. Good work from Kleinsman. Claire Kleinsman. 16 years of age. Anna Green, 31 years of age. Marking each other in this game. Give you some context of Anna Green's career when she made her debut for New Zealand in 2006. Kleinsman was one year old. Here's Green. Ingham. It was also only one year old when Green debuted for the Football Ferns. That's the beauty of senior sport, isn't it? We play of all ages. So no change to the half-time score. Goals to Oliver Bell, two of them, and Anna Green. A brilliant one from that free kick. Just bounced over Bryant. And now Errington struggling to keep up with Atkins. Errington, though, back to put some pressure on her. Smith. Well, that worked out okay for Capital, but that could have gone anywhere there off Kennedy Bryant. No substitutions made in the game so far by either of the two coaches, Matthew Calvert for Central and Maya Vink for capital for loon chasing that through for central Kleinsman putting the foot down. Check the pace out on the youngster, but she's not going to be able to catch up with that one. But good pressure there. You know, concede a fr free uh, for a throw in right on the corner there rather than a goal kick. It's a good work from Kleinsman. Harder to work out of this position than a goal kick, that's for sure. Central are going to win that throw in. Yeah, comes chasing that one through green, forced to clear. Again, uh, just kept it a little sluggish on that play. Just for a moment, not quite having the urgency required. I'm sure they'll refocus again quickly, Ingham, lovely touch. It's Ingham. Again, good pressure from Holly Kleinsman. All of a sudden, it's looking a little bit difficult here for Capital weren't getting the ball they're not getting the ball out of their half as easily as they were in the first half I just wonder about that wind whether it's now a playing like a a 12th player for Central like it was maybe for Capital in the first half if you get my drift excuse the pun here's Errington Capital forced to play it out from the back again, much like Central were doing in the first half. They didn't have a lot of success. It was wild. Again, slightly misdirected the pass, and that's all that's required for Central to get the ball back. Oh, here's a chance. Buzan, oh, for Loon. There was a big moment there for Central. Who had the opportunity to really cook something up there. 
Falloon are just able to control it. Errington controls it. That's lovely. Oliver Bell trying to get round that defender. She's done so. It's Crawford. Nicely anticipated by Morton. For Central and Atkins, who's coming nicely into the game now. Quiet start from Amy Atkins, but she's really playing well in midfield now. Brian and Errington pick up the ball. Oliver Bell, good control, chasing it through is Robertson. Nice play from her, and there is Gemma Robertson scoring. Beautiful finish from Robertson, the 24-year-old midfielder who's playing up front today for Capital. She's got her goal, and that's her first of this campaign, Gemma Robertson. Experienced play, lovely play. And she knows how to finish. She scored 17 goals in 14 games this season for her club, Wellington United. And she's got the goal and deserves one too. She is playing very well in this game. So there's the first goal of the second half. It's 4-0. Capital. Getting their goal difference up to what it needs to be. But the result in Dunedin doesn't look like it's going to go their way. They needed a Canterbury win and that's looking far from likely now. As time ticks away. 5-2. Southern still leading down there. So if Southern going to win that or draw it, it'll be enough for them to win. Good on them too. You might have anticipated that they might have parked the bus, having needing just to draw in that game. But they've gone out there and scored five goals, Southern. It's amazing. I don't think they've scored any more than five goals in the entire competition up till this point, which is pretty amazing. comes Ingham in space. Feeds to just overcooked the pass, just a touch there. That was enough for Central to clear it. Green making a run from left back, and Ingham has it. Oh, lovely ball, and here's Green. Green, it's still there. It's another. And it's another goal to Capital. It's the fifth. And they lengthen their lead. It looks like Robertson might have got her second. Well, there were three players right there. Let's see who picked it up. What the, about that pass there from Ingham? Terrific. And yes, it is. It is Gemma Robertson who gets her second goal. It is 5-0 now. So two goals... To Robertson, two to Oliver Bell, and one to Green, and they're all right up there again. Green starting to fall too. Now Canterbury have pulled one back down into Need, and it's 5 3 now. Still half an hour to go down there. So Capital, all Capital can do is keep scoring goals and then hope Canterbury win the game down in Dunedin. If they do win at Canterbury, it'll be 6-5, something like that. It'll, it'll be amazing if that happens. The most, just about the most amazing day in women's domestic football history in New Zealand, you'd have to think if that, if, uh, if that happens. Crazy thing is, if that happens, 
Capital might have enough goals in the bank now to win the title. Because at the moment, Capital's plus or goal differential goes to plus 10 with the five that they've got today, provided they don't concede any. They got a plus 10. So if Canterbury get up and win that 6 5, they will have plus 9. <laughs> so if Canterbury actually now need three goals, four goals now. Here comes Capital, and this is Oliver Bell. Well, that player was offside in front of her. It was Robertson. That's why she gave up the ghost there. Looks like the first substitute. Let's see who uh, is uh, moving on here with the substitutions. So Green to take the throw in. Robertson the target of that throw in. Smith back there. Oh, it's going to fall here for Errington. Got Brian to her left there. So a deflection by Grindsman, though. And Central can clear. Kennedy Bryant, good work from her. Just quite, not quite accurate enough for that pass, though. As high as you want, keep going, Holly. Go on, do it over it, do it over it. Go on, touch me. You ready? Yeah, Bryant. In there again, the captain. Great reaction. Great reaction, Holly. Well done. Maybe Bryant, big imposing midfielder. Wide up a United player. Capital take it quickly. Sarah Morton can clear that one. Straight there to Wild though, who came hard off the chest. Ingham's on to this one. Ooh, just didn't quite link up with Oliver Bell. In fact, I think that was Robertson, who just couldn't quite link up, and it was. Rankin, that's good play from her. Again, not just to overcook that a tad. So, 20 minutes played in the second half. Still 25 to go here. Still time for Capital to get more goals in the bank. Maybe all in vain. With uh, everyone having half an eye on what's happening in Deneen at the moment. Still 5-3 to Southern as far as I'm aware. Which means Southern will win the title. Back-to-back -back wins over Canterbury. The two-time defending national champions. It's incredible. Good on Southern. Nice play, but it's back in the capital football's possession. Morton's lost it. Gibbs over there couldn't keep it for capital. And it's a corner. So Central can swing one in here and put some pressure on their opponents. One of the rare occasions in this match. And one thing Capital won't want to do here is concede a goal. Morton with the short corner. Good hustle there from Gemma Robertson. She's making a big case to be player of the day today. With her performance, two goals and some lovely plays just like that. Falloon. Zan is hustled off at that time from Jaden Watts. And Catherwood in possession right now for Capital. So 3-0 it was at half time. 
Capital have added two more since the break, both to Gemma Robertson. Green. Bryant's not able to control that one, Kennedy Bryant. So it's a pretty decent performance from Capital, given all of the players that are not available. And Nina Kondo, that dislocated shoulder, Alan Phibbs, ruptured ACL. Big collision in training a few weeks back between Zoe Barrett and Kaylin Patterson. Resulted in serious concussions to both of them. Emma Main not playing today, Kaylee Ward not playing today. But they still lead 5-0. Robertson with the attempted flip pass, not to be. Errington cleans up. A composed player is Helena Errington for her age, 16 years of age. She looks like she's playing much older than that. It's wonderful to see young players who have composure. Now Ingham's going to leave that for Anna Green who charges onto this one. Green with an early ball. Oh, Campbell has got it. Second bite needed though. Thing there for Sophie Campbell. Good day, good day. Morton chasing through it is Sarah Morton. Good forward in taxi. Well done. Kleinsman looking to put pressure on Green again. Good work from Kleinsman. Green again with the throw it. ball for Helena Arrington allows Rankin uh, Atkins to sneak in there Amy Atkins good defending still there though yes good work from Capitals defenders to get their bodies between the ball and the goal that's what you've got to do and there's Bryant with a long ball and it's a beauty through to Robertson Crawford fighting hard to win it back for Central Pepe Oliver Bello now Capital can push forward Bryant Lovely pass, Green, and that might have gone off Anna Green, it'll be a goal kick. A promising build up from Capital there. Hey, keep stepping on the second phase, Green, opportunities will come. Matthew Calvert been a tough job for him being the coach of this team, but he's still not giving up. Wants his team to play to the bitter end of this contest, despite the score. And there is good attitude by those central players as they hustled and worked hard for the ball there. And Kleinsman has got a big chance here. Holly Kleinsman. Oh, it's just wide. Good work from Holly Kleinsman. She deserved the goal. Hasn't managed to score one through the season yet. Very close there. Kleinsman, a New Zealand under-17s training camp squad member. And we'll see her, I'm sure, in action next year for the New Zealand under-17 women's team. Remember the last time we had one of those teams, they were pretty decent, 2018. Went all the way to the semi-finals of that World Cup. 
We're seeing some of those players now filter through into the football ferns and the Phoenix, of course. And of course, playing their debut season in the A-League. Wild coming forward there now with Bryant. Green. Double teamed. Good work again by Kleinsman to win it. But she's given it straight back to Ingham who couldn't quite control it. And the opportunity was left. Hope you're enjoying your coverage of this game here on Sky Sport Next. It's the final round of the Central South Series. And Capital coming through again. And Crawford's got it for Central. Well won by Oliver Bell. Errington. Space here for Olivia Ingham. Might have a shot here. And again, the direction not quite that time for Olivia Ingham. Done from Wild to win that, and she's through Rosie Wild, boot through two players there, and continues a very good run. And Wild's not far away from scoring a magnificent goal. That would have been absolutely on, glorious. Hey, keep your eyes tuned up. Stay on the ball once we've lost Green. Wild again. Green switching it to the left. Ingham playing a bit wider. He's back towards Erin Errington though. Green early ball in this time. Oh, now play goes down there. Play on the call. Smith clears it. Sophie Campbell got the ball though. Lovely touch. Ingham. Bryant chasing this through. Smith comes across. She did really well there, Lara Smith. Green takes the throw in. Oh, that touch, if that was in the, towards the feet there of Ingham, that could have been very interesting for Olivia Ingham. there from Crawford to win the ball back for Central. Green. Here's Ingham. Good ball. Crawford. Good defending from here. Corners conceded. She's run the ball, she's got the ball, she's fallen over here, and she's still got the ball. Hey, I've said it when they've got a right run. So. Here comes the opportunity here for Capital, and they're going to take it short. Urington. And 
and that one's going to be nicely shielded for Sophie Campbell. So still 5-0 with 13 minutes to play. Still no change in Dunedin. It is still 5-3. And Southern are doing a fantastic job for Canterbury, for Capital to win the title. Canterbury will need to score three times in the last 13 minutes down there for Capital to win the title on goal differential. So that's the mathematics as it stands at the moment. Central into the area. And that, of course, is provided Central don't score because then the mathematics change again. Whoops, there's been a mistake here from Simons. Luckily for her, it didn't immediately give an opportunity. Still maybe create one here as it's just over their head there. Charlotte Noakes, I think that is now, who's out there. And... Wasn't to be for Central, but again, a close call there from Capital. Good work from Morton to win the ball back. Atkins has lost it. Bryant. Now Green can come forward again. Good work from Truett, but it's going to be Capital's ball. Bit of insurance in the bank here with maybe one more. Here's Errington. Oh, may mean nothing though. That might fall for Pippi Oliver Bell. It has into the area. Here's Green again. Tries to pick it up. I think that's Gibbs who'd made the run forward. Have it all keep the pressure on here with more possession. Lauren Owen out there for Capital. Waterside Karori captain. Here she is. Wilds lost it. Work from Buzan. He's still out there. And now here comes a run. And a good one too. Late. Called by referee Keeley, but she was just playing advantage there. Looks like another substitution is about to be made. And Truett's coming off, and Shannon Newland is coming on. Wide up a United player. 23 years of age, first season for Central. And uh, she is... Coming on for her fifth appearance this season. All is su a sub. She strided, slotted straight back into the defensive line. So Simons with this goal kick. Robertson back to Green. Oh, lovely play from Robertson. Newland, excellent work from her, but there's a foul against Robertson. A little unlucky, perhaps, that one of those ones. Atkins for Central. Lovely play from Oliver Bell. Now there's space just behind that front line. Bright, good defending from Crawford. Big challenge there. And that was a vital one to prevent more attacks from Capital. More substitutions, I think, are about to be made. <laughs> C 
see if we can find out if it is an injury here to one of the players. Rosie Wilde just uh, looking out uh, for her teammate there. There's Maya Vink and the rest of the support staff for Capital. Take the opportunity to talk things over. But, uh, Capital have done what they needed to do. They needed to win by four at least, and they've won by, they've, uh, well, they haven't won yet, but got five goals in the bank. Remember, gets their goal difference up to plus 10. Bryant just taking her time to settle here. So Bryant, who's had a good game back in that midfield position, 21 years of age. Been in the capital football team for a long time. Uh, Wider up a United player. Spectre Kennedy Bryant has actually passed the 50-game milestone this season. This is her 52nd game for Capital. It's a pretty milestone that was passed earlier on in the campaign by Kennedy Bryant. But it looks like she might be out of the game now. Capital, remember, with all those injuries that I've touched on a couple of times during the commentary, they are a bit skinny on the bench. They have Nicola Ross to call on, who's been a late call-up into the team, and Libby Bubia, neither of them have actually featured in any games for Capital this season. They've been really down on numbers. Still wait for play to resume here. So seven minutes to play. So it looks like Southern are just moments away from winning the title. Still 5-3 is the score down in Dunedin. So for Canterbury to win, they need four goals in the last five or so minutes down there. And then they would win it on goal difference over Capital. But, uh, of course, Capital's only chance of winning this game was if Canterbury won down there. So they need three goals down there, the Capital team. They need Canterbury to really help them out now. Nice play from Robertson. Errington in space. Good work from here. Green makes the run from left back, and that has deflected off that central player for a corner. Like another sub was about to be made there, and it is one of the central players being substituted. It might be Crawford running off there. Thank you. Anyway, it's a corner here for Capital. Good one, too. goes capital team through always a big chance it's a big chance or wasn't quite controlled by wild who'd stayed high and it's another corner 
Green going over to take it. Less than five to play. So Anna Green it is to take the corner for Capital once again. Oh, still there, perhaps for Capital. Wild can't get it, neither can Robertson. She races back, uses that great pace that she has. Good work from Robertson, lovely. Here's Errington. Errington, excellent. Good pass, Green. Hard one for her to control, though, but some lovely interchanges by the Capital team there. Green absolutely everywhere. Now that one could be difficult to control. Here's it going to fall. It's fallen for Kennedy Bryant. Bryant off the crossbar. Still there, Pepe Oliver Bell. And now it's cleared by Central. Wow, that was close there from Kennedy Bryant. We just saw her struggling with that injury a moment ago. Green could put the pressure on again. Lovely. Oh, it's just wide. Still there. And. It is a big chance there for Capital, and unfortunately for them, no goal. But some lovely work from several players there. But it wasn't to be. Well, Central have found the going very tough in this league. Only scored two goals in their six games, and they've conceded 23. It's been a real tough campaign for them, but there's been they've had moments in these games that suggest that something could be cooking in the Central Football region. They just need to stick with it and work hard. No shortcuts to the top, remember, as Robertson. Keeps the positive play coming from Capital. Lovely pass to Green. Green might get a second chance here. Goes to the far post. And yeah, that one's not able to be controlled that time. Owen. Owen will win it back here for Capital. Atkins trying to pressure Lauren Owen here. And now it's come off a central player, so it's going to be a throw in. Referee Keeley getting close to blowing for full time here. Rosie Wilde plays it forward, but she's hooked it too far back that time. No one from Bryant. Good work from Kennedy Bryant. Excellent work. Again, it's going to fall for Rankin to clear. All the pressure coming from Capital as they continue to try and find one more goal. Oliver Bell tries to find Owen, but you can't quite get there. And now Central on the break. Work from Simons. Get it back up towards halfway as Kleinsman. He hustled off the ball by Robertson. Morton playing forward here for Central. Warrington. So last few moments of this game. Morton stays forward here for Central. Early ball, not finding a teammate though, cleared away by Watts. Ten, 
Well, his chance for central late in the game. Player there. Oh, it's not taken. Holly Kleidsman couldn't finish the deal. It was a beautiful ball right on her head, but she missed the opportunity. Now here comes Capital on the break. Green. Good hustle there from Oliver Bell. Errington. Green again. No foul, says referee Keeley. So Central come forward here. Good ball from Kleinsman, and this is Falloon. Falloon needs some help. Can she win a corner at least for her team? She can't. So an all-action end of the game, but it has ended, and it's been a very comfortable win for Capital. They led 3-0 at half-time, added two more in the second half. The goal scorers, Pepe Oliver Bell, got the first in the second. Anna Green, with that terrific free kick wide out on the left, took the score to 3-0 at half-time. And Robertson, with two second-half goals, Gemma Robertson, ended the scoring at 5-0. So Capital, with this win, go to 12 competition points. And they finish with a goal differential of 10, but it's all counted for nothing because I've just had news that the full-time whistle has been blown in Dunedin and Southern have beaten Canterbury United in a thrilling game down there by five goals to three. That means Southern United finished with 15 competition points and a goal differential of plus five. Not that that matters now, but the final table has Southern United on 15. Capital Football have finished second with 12. Canterbury United third with nine and Central Football have finished fourth with no competition points. So it's a great, uh, well, you can say congratulations not only to Capital Football for winning this game today, but uh, huge congratulations to Southern United who have won the South Central National League women's title for 2021. So good on them. It's not often, as I touched on in the commentary, that uh, wins, championship wins go to the Deep South here in women's football, but in 2021, it has. Just remind you, too, that we have the men's grand final coming up tomorrow. We hope you can uh, tune in for that one. That will feature two Wellington teams going at it, Miramar Rangers against Wellington Olympic, and that will be a thrilling contest, and pool play it finished four all. So if we get a replica of that tomorrow in the final, we're in for a treat. So thanks for watching here from Patori today. The final score here for you is Capital Football 5, Central Football 0.